I let the spark, I felt so proud. The smoke rose high, it wrapped the cloud. He said, relax, it's just for fun. But fire kissed me one by one. Bang, bang. My smile went down. Bang, bang. My teeth turned brown. Bang, bang. My gums cried slow. Bang, bang. My glow said no. At first it whispered soft said, but pain grew deep with every bit. My mirror left, you've lost your crown. The smoke still dance, I drowned, I drowned. Bang, bang. My breath turned cold. Bang, bang. My story told. Bang, bang. My grins like gone. The flame, my love burned on and on. Everybody thinks smoking only burns your lungs, but the truth is, before it ever reaches your lungs, it's your mouth that's on fire. Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Mirnoz, a dentist, and today I'm gonna tell you something weird but real. Smoking destroys your smile, quietly, every single day, with every puff you take. And this isn't just few people's problem, it's a global crisis. According to the latest reports from World Health Organization, in 2025, around 1.2 billion people in the world are smokers, and about 6 million people die every year because of smoking-related diseases. Just imagine that, between 80 to 100,000 people light a cigarette every single day. Now, you might be thinking, okay, but does smoking really affect the mouth and teeth? Yes, it does. Smoking reduces blood flow to your gums. Cigarettes are packed with nicotine, and nicotine makes your blood vessels tighten up. That means those vessels get narrower and less blood gets through them. When there is less blood, there is also less oxygen and nutrients reaching your gum cells, so your gum cells cannot repair or protect themselves like before. And that's when your immune system gets weaker, and your gums get inflamed or infected. Even a small gum wound in a smoker can take weeks to heal. Basically, your mouth is living in a permanent defense mode. Also, when cigarette smoke enters your mouth, that hot smoke literally burns the lining of your mouth and your gums. It slows down the healing of small sores and irritations. But here's the tricky part. The gums of smokers might look healthy because they do not bleed, but that's just a pretty face hiding and silent disaster. When blood flow decreases, your gums bleed less, even when there is gum disease. So, if someone smokes and their gums do not bleed, that doesn't mean their gums are healthy. Nope. It's actually the opposite. It's a sign of serious damage and reduced circulation. And that poor blood flow causes gum recession, more inflammation, and slower healing of wounds. Sometimes a dentist can tell if a patient smokes just by looking at their gums. Because smoker's guns usually look pale, shiny, and they don't bleed. Here's something most people don't even know. Smoking messes up the balance of bacteria in your mouth. It kills off the good bacteria and gives the bad ones a perfect chance to grow and take over. That shift in balance is like giving fertilizer to disease-causing bacteria. They start growing faster and that speeds up tooth decay and gum inflammation. But sadly, it doesn't stop there. Smoking also affects the bone around your teeth. Yes, it actually causes bone loss. That bone loss makes your teeth lose and eventually it can lead to tooth loss. Here's the bad news for smokers. Even dental implants have a harder time healing and bonding. Why? Because the blood supply to the bone is so weak. Studies have shown that smokers are two to six times more likely to develop gum disease and lose teeth compared to non-smokers. And the worst part? That bone damage is usually irreversible. Once that bone around the tooth starts shrinking, there is no easy way to bring it back. Here's the good news though. Once you quit smoking, those constricted blood vessels start to relax again. Blood flow improves and gum tissue finally start to heal and get healthier. It's time to say that. I let the spark, I felt so proud. The smoke rose high, it wrapped the cloud. He said, relax, it's just for fun. But fire kissed me one by one. Bang, bang. My smile went down. Bang, bang. My teeth turned brown. Bang, bang. My gums grow slow. Bang, bang. My glow said no, at first it whispered soft said, but pain grew deep with every beat. 
My real love, you've lost your crown. The smoke is the dance. I drowned, I drowned. Bang, bang. My breath turned cold. Bang, bang. My story told. Bang, bang. My green's not gone. The flame I love burned on and on. Smoking makes your mouth dry. Think of your mouth like a river and saliva is the water that keeps everything clean and flowing. Now imagine that river drying up. Your mouth basically turns into desert for bacteria. And the dry mouth, that's like sending a formal invitation to bacteria and say, Hey guys, come live here. Bacteria start producing acid and that acid eats away at your tooth enamel. The result? Tooth decay, bad burrs, and inflamed gums. And get this, even vapes do the same thing. A lot of people think vaping is harmless. But its nicotine has the exact same blood vessel tightening. And the hot vapor makes your mouth even drying. So many of my patients tell me I switched to vaping to quit cigarettes because I thought it was safer. And when I ask, so did you actually stop smoking cigarettes? They go, well, no, I vape and smoke now. <laughs> so yes. The damage to the gums is almost the same. The only difference is what the smoke looks like. Even smoking just five cigarettes a day can cause blood vessels constriction and dry mouth. And that alone opens the door for infection and gum disease. And chemicals in cigarette smoke like ammonia also irritate and damage your mouth tissues, making that dryness even worse. But that's not all. We cannot forget that smoking also increases the risk of oral cancer. The toxic chemicals in cigarette smoke cause cell mutations in the tissue of your mouth, tongue, and throat. And here's the scary part. These changes take years to show up. By the time the symptoms finally appear, the disease is usually already in its advanced stages. Smoking also affects how your mouth and even your face looks. Your teeth start turning yellow, your lips get darker, and the skin around your mouth becomes dry and wrinkly. That's because less oxygen gets into your skin and your body produces less collagen. Nicotine even destroys the elastin fiber in your skin, which means early aging. Smoking also kills your smell and taste receptors, so smoker might not even realize how bad their breath actually smells. So what should you do? Brush your teeth, use dental floss, use mouthwash, drink lots of water and keep your mouth hydrated. And most importantly, make the decision to cut down on cigarettes and eventually create them for good. These were just the damages smoking causes inside your mouth. So imagine what it's doing to your lungs, liver, and every other organ in your body. Now ask yourself, is it really worth it? One puff of smoke in exchange for a healthy smile and fresh breath? Definitely not. So make the decision and drop it. When you finally quit, you will realize how awful it actually smells. Once you quit smoking, things start getting better really fast. Your gums start looking brighter and healthier, blood flow comes back to normal, and your gum tissues begin to repair themselves. The risk of gum disease and bone loss slowly goes down. Your breath smells fresher, your sense of taste comes back, and even your confidence starts to rise again. It's super important to know that your body can heal itself at any age. It just needs you to remove that one constant obstacle, cigarettes.